Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Tom. I'm a full-time eBay reseller and a stay-at-home dad for my five kids with one coming in just a couple of weeks to make six. Uh, when I started making this video, I thought I was going to make a short. And so I'm going to have a little bit of narrow video here for a couple minutes, but we find some great stuff. Stay to the end and we'll talk about what it's all worth. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Here we are at the local Goodwill. Going to see what we can find to flip for a profit on eBay. And we're not the only ones because there's no carts left. These oh, small salt and pepper shakers are $10 a piece. So they're not going to make it easy on us. This looks like new with tag, Cubs hat. That's not priced. Yes, it is $2.64. So this uh, Panasonic TZ5 it looks like it's in really, really nice shape. It has about 100% sell-through rate. It should be worth $30 or $40, assuming that's what camera's in there. I'm going to check. Having a little bit of a hard time getting a read on the value of this used. But at 5 bucks, I think it's worth taking a shot on literally still sitting here for $30. I used to do really well on these. I haven't seen one in a while. $3.50. I think we'll take that. It's just got that look. Okay, so this is definitely a reproduction, but this kind of patterning on a lamp, if this were Batozzi, that would be thousands of dollars. Well, so this one's busted, but if the bottom were like hand-drawn Italian on the bottom of this, and the pattern would probably stick out just a little bit more because it'd be hand-on instead of this, but thought I would tell you, look out for something that kind of looks like that because best flips ever on Italian Batozzi pottery. Okay, so from across the way, hey, uh, I'm glad Evelyn isn't here. She'd be freaking out about that. But those are vintage strawberry shortcakes. But I don't think this house is strawberry shortcake. Might be old Dora. Yeah, Casita here is old school Dora. But these are cool. These boots look pretty nice for $11. Steel shank made in Korea. Vintage. Hodgman insulated. Uh, we'll look into them. These. I don't know what these are yet. So, something like this. I'm going to look up because I've never seen it before. It looks like quality. I might be way off base. But I'll know rather than leaving without that one. So it looks like they should, would sell probably around 40 So at 10 bucks, there's just not enough there to buy them. Leave them for some hunter who needs them. So these are like six bucks, eight bucks, and there is a sold comp for these exact same ones for 50. And in the used section, they are over 100% selfie rate. So these used Crocs at 605, they're gonna need cleaned up a little bit. And the selfie rate just really isn't very good on them. So we're gonna leave them behind. They might sell for 25 free shipping. These look like Crocs also, they're not. They're UFOs. I feel like Ryan Roots talks about UFOs. Let's look them up. They're only four dollars. So if I'm looking at it right, UFOs slides say four hundred and something listed and eighteen hundred sold. So I imagine even with that quite a bit of wear on the bottom, at four bucks these would be twenty-five. Their toys have been really just like in shambles, abysmal. Not much here for a long while and I don't know what's going on but disappointing over here that's Moana and Pua but I don't think that's Moana's high chair or her cinnamon roll a couple of strange plush here this guy is like this is sewn to his head Spongebob universal shirt Spongebob backpack five bucks I can't catch a date on it yet but I'm going to comp it because it's pretty cool. Oh, wait, maybe there's a date in here. Coffee mugs is always a cool place to check out because they're generally cheap and easy to look up. And they don't sell super well, but the really fun ones are okay. So I'm going to check out this one and this Ohio State one. These kind of things don't tend to do as well for me. I thought there was one more. 
so this one there's ones listed as low as like four or five dollars not worth picking up for a buck this has zero sold listings but it only has one listed and it's 38 dollars. so i think i can probably undercut the market at 99 cents and make some money on that coffee mug at 20 bucks or so this i really like but i feel like it's the cup is generic enough that the it doesn't really come all the way home for that probably should get that but i'm not going to um this guy there's like six listed zero sold and uh but the only all of them that are listed are over 20 dollars plus shipping and at five bucks i feel like this is the kind of thing that I do well enough with that I, I think I'm, I'm on the fence. I'm going to keep considering it, but I may end up getting it. Even though I would tell you to leave it because the sell-through rate sucks. Games, 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 but not the kind of games that we do really well with. Um, I don't see anything here. And I'm constantly just judging books by their cover. I don't comp these games like stand here and know like maybe this one's worth something let me scan it let me comp every game here i don't do that i just like what looks interesting and i comp five or six if i find ones that look interesting but today we're comping zero so there's a whole bunch of stuff here that's like please don't buy this this is like hand done and it would be really hard to market even if it was done really well collector plates are almost never going to be a good thing. I'll put a comp up for this, but I'm not buying it. I'll put it up for your benefit. Um, $1.49, cheap enough. Like, statuettes are almost never good. This, uh, oh, this one's even Avon, so there's another strike. This is a Avon decanter. That one might be two. And then this guy is neat, but it would take forever to find the buyer on that, so I wouldn't mess with this at all. But I always feel like when I'm walking by this section, like I always look, but if I had Cat the Nurse Flipper or the Crazy Lamp Lady, they would be able to help me know what to buy better. So I try to watch them. I've been making a point to watch YouTubers who are not me, like I am a quintessential middle-aged straight white guy so i know the things that the guys who like me make youtube videos i know what they know so i need to watch other people and figure out what they know this looks better than average like it would suck to ship if it did so but i don't know doesn't seem oh, there is a mark on it it's number 419 we're just going to type in 419 fishing and see what happens so nothing that way let's look at google lens off of something else that is signed and uh, even that one at $85 there's no solds on it so that's kind of a crapshoot of a price so we're gonna leave it alone I always look at CDs and I am never gonna be the sell one CD at a time guy it's just too slow of a game and uh, too niche for me so what I do is I look for hard rock I look for uh, classic rock, and I look for um, rap, and those three genres almost exclusively, um, unless there's something that's like they have nine albums by the same artist, and I can put them all together and make a big lot. Another one to look out for would be Taylor Swift, 
Mrs. Kansas City Chief herself. Her debut album on CD is worth more than you might imagine if you're not aware that it's worth a bunch of money. I don't see anything today. So this is the new cart for books and we found Zelda Twilight Princess 1 and 2 for 50 cents a piece. I generally don't record other people in the store, but this guy's shirt is a banger. Vintage soda tabs, single stitch. Okay, so they just brought out this new cart and I picked a handful of things off of it. I think I got everything I wanted. And this is my pile of stuff that I just took off of that cart. I've heard that these training clubs can do well, but I don't know if they're collectible or if they're useful for training. Obviously this one's old. So I'm going to comp it. So yeah, sold. Uh, sold for 25 I used, so we're going to grab that. Mini Tonkas. These are probably, these used to be really good. I don't know if they're still good. At six bucks, we're going to put them in the cart. Salomons. These are uh, crazy. I think they're six bucks too. It's weird that they started putting that price on the side like that. Um, we'll comp those. This if it wasn't $1.50, it probably wouldn't be worth playing with. But because it's from 1991, 1992, $1.50, uh, I'm going to try it. I'm probably not even going to comp it. This, I have sold just the balls before. And this appears to be kind of the whole setup. So um, I'm going to grab that for 4 bucks, And then I'm going to comp this. Oh yeah, and we found these books. So this is, these are not in great shape, but they're 50 cents. So there's the first three of this series and five of this series. And I know Percy Jackson, they're about to start a uh, Disney Plus TV series about Percy Jackson. Because the guy who wrote them hated the movies so bad that he's like, somebody's got to let me make a TV show so that these movies aren't my legacy of my work. Um, so there's... Uh, one, two, three, four. So this is a V minus one. V is five minus one is four. And then V is five. So that's first five Percy Jacksons. And then three of this School of Good and Evil. Um, and we'll see. But we're gonna, I'm going to buy those and figure them out when I get home. So the only thing I'm going to comp out of that whole lot, other than the golf club that I already did, is this Advent Ring. It doesn't look like anything particularly special. So these are uh, over 100% sell through rate for the Speed Plus 3 used. And they are, should be about $30 uh, free shipping. So at six bucks, I think that's worth getting. And then you have stuff like this. And you need a certain number of these in order to use it. With that open box, I'd be very surprised if that is all in there. 384 Blu ray. Let's see what number it is. So, with the remote at four bucks, and if this is working, it's worth probably 30 plus shipping. I just totally missed this dude. The Tulsa Drillers. Uh, 264 he's a long way from home let's see what he's worth so again there's two dollars and fifty cents there are none listed below thirty dollars and there's five listed and the guy did play pro evidently for the rockies so uh, he probably has some fans so i'm gonna get it and list it for fifteen dollars plus shipping and make a little money under the market another new cart I found this Longenberger basket a couple minutes ago and I forgot to comp it. Longenberger used to be like, holy cow, but I don't think it is anymore. See, these are definitely worth getting because they're six bucks. And they're, they're uh, they should fit my wife. So this is six bucks. It's 40 CDs, DVDs, the complete 24, um, but it doesn't have a barcode. And I can't find it. I wonder if it's not... It's English. Is it NTSC? Hmm. 
you guys just saw me pick up this series but this one has two three four five and six but not number one and so i gotta leave it behind even at 250 it'll be three bucks if it had all of them be well worth picking up but without number one it isn't worth picking up i was about to head up to the front but look who's hanging out over here acrylic and rayon i feel like that's probably a good piece I investigated a little more seven bucks so this exact shirt isn't listed any at all but there's a couple of Cresslin and rayon v-neck sweaters that sold for around thirty dollars and i feel like this one's better than those i was literally trying to skip the clothes six bucks for resorts tag it's pretty cool literally walking out of the aisle and every time i'm like oh wait what's that this says made in hong kong which i suspect makes it vintage it's new with tag so it's new with tag but it should be twenty dollars if it's pre-owned but it's ten bucks mm. i don't know i like tracy chapman I think I'm gonna pass. I'm spending a whole bunch of money, and that one's not a sure thing. So this is a rack, a uh, spice rack, and there's the rack for 15 bucks, and you can buy each spice for 10 dollars. So here we are back at the van. I kind of forgot about these girls. She charged me a dollar fifty for the pair. I forgot to open this and see how much of this stuff is in there, but um, at five bucks, I don't think we're gonna get hurt too bad. I think you guys saw pretty much everything else. I spent $85 in about two hours in there on a Monday afternoon. I'm gonna go hit a drive-through before I gotta go pick up my kids because I didn't eat any lunch. So I need to get food, get uh, the boys, and then go get Evelyn. I don't know if I showed you guys this. It was $1.50 Lipton's tea bags. I don't know if this is an advertisement piece. I suspect it's not. Like, it's made to look like it would have been in a general store as a huge display. So it's definitely not like a, like something that would have been sitting at a general store and be legitimately what it's pretending to be. But it is like, you know, home tchotchke, but it's probably vintage. I don't know. I thought it was super neat and it uh, was a dollar fifty, So I took it because somebody else is going to think it's super neat too taking my car back, cart back. Um, we'll see you guys on the next one.